Hey, Rival Lockman here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Edge Delta, Edge Delta's observability, monitoring, and remediation solution platform here. So the first thing you do is actually need to sign up for an Edge Delta SaaS account. That's actually pretty straightforward. And here I'm actually logged in. So the next step is, well, you need to actually install some workload and also take a look at Edge Delta. Uh, so the first thing to do is actually let's spin up a Minikube cluster. Let's go ahead and spin this up. So go ahead and give myself eight gigs of memory. And then let's go ahead and start a Minikube cluster up. This might take a few moments depending on your machine and you might hear my computer whirring in the background. Looks like the cluster just came up. So let's go ahead and double check it came up. QTL get pods tick A and perfect. Looks look like everything has came up there. So the next step here is actually deploy a little bit of workloads. So let's deploy Google's echo server. Let's go ahead and deploy that. And let's go ahead and also expose that so we can actually generate some traffic uh, that Edge Delta can actually pick up on. So let's go ahead and expose that. And let's actually crack open a new PowerShell window and let's set up a Minikube tunnel. So while that's running, let's just go ahead and execute Minikube tunnel. Uh, this will actually uh, create a tunnel uh, from our local machine here out to the outside world. So that might take a few moments to start up. It looks like our tunnel has started. Uh, let's come back to our particular other PowerShell window and let's take a look at the particular external IP. So all we have to do now is actually head to this particular external IP and we can check that out in action. So by coming to our external IP and port 8080, we're actually able to see Echo Server in action here. So that's fantastic. So the next step that we need to do is actually wire an Edge Delta. So if you come back to Edge Delta and come back down to agent settings, let's go ahead and make a new configuration for Kubernetes. So click quick configuration. We're going to make a Kubernetes based template with reasonable defaults. Click save. And in a few moments, our particular configuration should be made here. Uh, let's, if you come back to the configuration, click on the ellipses here and click on deploy instructions. Uh, we can actually click on particular uh, Helm here and we can actually install uh, based on our particular Helm chart here. So uh, here's our API key. Uh, here's the repo to add. And so let's go ahead and do that right now. I already have the Helm repo uh, wired in, but let's go Helm repo update. Let's go ahead and update my repos, and now we can just go ahead and install by home. Let's go ahead and execute. And this might take a few moments uh, to install, but uh, we can come back to the Edge Delta UI, and we can validate that the agent has been installed correctly. So it looks like we come back to observability, case review. Uh, data is starting to actually start to be ingested and populated. This might actually take a few moments uh, to go through. Uh, in my experience, it takes about two or three minutes. Uh, we can also just go and uh, hit refresh here a couple times and also as we're waiting we can actually just take a look at the Kubernetes logs here so QPTL logs take a look uh, there's some logging data that's being generated for us and that should be populated in Edge Delta in a few moments and it looks like we're having some data being populated in here uh, actually that was quicker than two or three minutes uh, I'm pretty impressed with that uh, so yeah just like that we're having some data that's getting populated uh, into Edge Delta and hopefully this quick start was interesting. Uh, until next time, cheers, Robbie.